Hello my Virgo dragons, welcome to your soul path reading. Um, so why I've done these readings is because there's the loved ones that came out, which is fine, and your generals and your bonuses and the moons, and it's just to sort of, this is just connect with you guys on a deeper level, okay? This is just to connect and just say, hey, what's going on in there, right? So it's to sort of remove everybody out and just to give you some specific advice for what you need for what you're going through now and also to get you to move ahead so what um what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be shuffling um three shuffles if a card comes out great if it doesn't taking one from the top as soon as one comes out i'm taking the bottom card that was there okay so that's overlaying and underlying energies then i'm going to be pulling from another deck to get some clarification so this is my chakra oracle and then I have my psychic um, tarot here. So when we look at specifically the soul, you might want to look at um, your north node. Um, find your sign for north node. Uh, your moon, ascending, the sun, those all apply. So, um, and even Venus, love. But a lot of times we take that as external love. Um, it's not really an internal love, so take it as you will, okay? Virgo, let's go ahead, three shuffles, let's get some energy for Virgo and their soul-searching selves. And three. Okay, so, whoa, oh, huh, that's funny. Gossip. Oh. And impatience. Oh, Virgo, what are you going through? I feel like you're very much not connected right now on a deeper level. Whatever you guys are going through, um, deep down inside, I feel like you're, <laughs> you're trying to hurry something along. Um, and because I feel like you're trying to hurry something along, you might be, you might be causing some um, unwanted... Uh, well, gossip, you're just, I feel like you're not using your powers for good, okay? Um, this is not very soul-based energy for anybody, um, so I'm not too sure, <laughs> it's funny, as I split the cards, patience came out at the bottom, so I feel like, um, because it's so funny, because we have impatience, it's like you're trying to reach up and touch something, and it's like, but wait a minute, it's not ready yet. It's not completed. So you're trying to rush things along, and it's like, and, and maybe you're, you think that getting involved might uh, push things along. So you're trying to like, hey, you know, people try to go and, you know, not in a, mani not in a maniacal way, but trying to... Um, create some 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 verbalness about it to get people to move so yeah okay let's see if that card comes out again okay no okay so I'm just gonna wait here because we have lots of cards so um, wow, you guys have a lot of major arcana that's come out here, okay? Now, the first one that came out, firm foundation, okay? This is your, um, this is your base. This is your root. This is, um, where everything starts, okay? Um, this is, um, uh, This is about having a good, solid base. And, and, and you're trying to really set yourself up for success. Yeah. But whatever this is, whatever you're doing, um, I feel like you've sacrificed a little bit of your intuitive side. That's why this reading is so surface level. It isn't really soul level. I feel like your soul feels like you sacrificed it for your shadow self, right? <laughs> Look at this guy. It's like you're going all the way down. So, 
And I think that you've sacrificed something soul-based for foundation. You've, you've just decided to sort of turn your back on something, maybe um, not listening to what your soul's trying to tell you or not listening, and you've, you've just decided to move back into um, a shadow self. And the thing that you don't get is, so this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is your destiny, okay? You are... You need to sort of roll with the punches um, and try not to understand what's happening. I feel that you have you need to unattach from this and you've unattached from your intuition. Like you've really actually sacrificed your intuition. I feel like you, 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 you knew you saw something from a different perspective, but you didn't. Like there's so many dualities happening here with the shadow and the destiny. What you do need to do is you do need to see what's going on here. What are you really dealing with? And because I feel that you're in a situation right now where if you try to force something, I don't think it's going to be going in your favor. Um, emotional withdrawal yeah you've you've withdrawn from yourself you've withdrawn from you um i feel like you turned your back on 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 your soul purpose I don't think you've dealt with something. I, th I think you're, and, and you're just like, you were too impatient. Yeah. Virgo, you didn't deal with something. You have deception and envy. Um, so whoever this is for, you need to move into a space of having faith. Yeah, look, the bottom of the deck, spiritual strength. Okay. Look, spiritual strength. I think that you shouldn't run away anymore. Stand your ground, conflict and defeat. Prosperity begins, see? So you need to stand your ground. You need to go back up onto your feet and, and connect again. Okay, stand your ground for your spiritual strength. Okay, just open yourself up to it. Okay, you can do it. You'll 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 be good. You just need to reconnect. You need to get out of this gossipy mindset. Okay. And, and that's not going to serve you. You know it, but this other path is hard. Okay. And maybe that's just what it is, but you can't, you can't withdraw from yourself. It's only going to catch up with you. So make sure that wheel is a positive because the wheel can go backwards. Okay, so what are you putting into yourself right now, Virgo? Hmm? What are you putting into yourself? So here we have sensuality. Express your sensuality. So I really feel like when we have the sensuality card that it's about you... Um, really connecting with your emotions again. Like I said, you've, you've, you've withdrawn emotionally. You've taken yourself out of it. And I think you really just need to open your heart up, right? I think you just need to go and find the beautiful things. Um, maybe something happened and you opened yourself up and then some, and then you went and you retreated again and you just decided it's easier. It's, it is easier to go back into negative patterns in the short term, but you don't go anywhere because you just go backwards. It's harder to move forward, but it is more rewarding. Okay, you learn and you get to move on rather than being stagnant. Okay, it's more emotionally fulfilling to be sensual. Okay, um, yeah, so being a sensual person means you have a heightened sense of, aware sense of awareness for touch, smell, taste, hearing and feelings. OK, 
Okay, so sensuality plays a big part in your sex life and overall in the ability to derive pleasure from life. So take the sex out. Okay, I don't think this has anything to do, I hope it doesn't have anything to do with sex life, because this is soul, so we're talking about you. But this is about you finding what your soul takes pleasure in. Okay, so, um, yeah, you just need to really find, you need to rediscover your, your, your heart and your soul. And so your mantra is going to be, I live life to the fullest with passion and love. I get the feeling for whatever Virgos this is meant for is that you sort of um, taken the, the true passion and love out of things. And, and you're just so focused on, on grounding and just blinders on moving forward that I don't think, I don't think you've been able to really um, move in, like you've, you've turned your back on this. Okay, Virgo, I think that, I think we're done. Okay, so please like and subscribe and I appreciate your support for my channel. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time.